Let's explore two cloud-based tools that link to TC2000 through a browser or even on a mobile device. These tools can be accessed at www.tc2000.com forward slash cloud. The first tool is your ability to synchronize major financial websites with your TC2000 active symbol. The second is your ability to view a heat map in a browser on a mobile device that also is synchronized to your TC2000 symbols. Let me show you how to set each of these up. To link your TC2000 active symbol with major financial websites, click the Notes and News button in the menu and from the drop-down, choose Open Finance Sites for Active Symbol. You'll see a list of major financial websites that you could choose to link up with your TC2000. Let's click on Google Finance Summary as an example. Notice that it opens the Google Finance Summary page for the ticker symbol we were on in TC2000. This also synchronizes the website so that as you change symbols, you'll not only see your chart changing in TC2000, you'll also see the Google Finance page website changing to your current active symbol. Now you can have more than one of these sites open at a time. Let's go back to the selection page and pick a different site. How about MarketWatch? Now we have both the Google Finance Summary page and the MarketWatch page open to our active TC2000 symbol. Again, as I spacebar through my watch list, notice that I change symbols not only in my TC2000, but in both of the websites that I have open now. Now let's go back to the selection page again, because I want to point out that this synchronization not only works with a browser on your computer, but also with a browser on your mobile devices. Notice we've placed a URL for you at the top of this selection page, tc2000.com forward slash cloud. If you type that address in on the browser on your mobile device, the first time you go there, you'll need to sign in with your username and password. Once you do that, you'll be taken to that very same selection page where you can choose any site that you want, let's say CNN Money, it'll open the site to the page that matches your active symbol in TC2000. And as you spacebar through your watch list, the symbol will be changing on your tablet just as it did on the browser on your computer. Now, the second cloud based tool I wanted to show you is the heat map. Let's go back to tc2000.com forward slash cloud, that selection page we've been looking at. At the top right of the page, you'll notice we have something called heat map. When you click on that, your browser will open a heat map page, which is right now set to the S&P 500 stocks. This heat map is based on percent change. So at the top left of the screen, in the darkest green, is the stock from the S&P 500 that has the largest percent change today. So you see symbol A, and then SWN, and then HOG. Those are the top percent movers in the S&P 500. Bottom right of the screen in the dark red are the stocks that have moved down the most in the S&P 500 on a percentage basis today. One thing to note real quickly is you'll see the numbers and the ticker symbols changing order automatically as their percent moves change. Click the percent change dropdown to view a second heat map, which is our volume buzz heat map. Volume buzz is real time relative volume. It shows you where unusual intraday volume is. At the top left, you can see in green there, symbols like UAL and AIV have high volume buzz numbers. They're doing something they don't normally do at this time of day on the volume basis. Down at the bottom right in red will be the ones that have less volume buzz or less volume than they normally do at this time of day. Another view would be to group these symbols by sector. I click group by sector and now I actually have a number of heat maps. These are based on volume buzz and they're broken down into the major sectors of the S&P 500. There's 11 of them. 
This is showing me where there's unusual volume within each of the sectors. Of course, we could go back and base that on percent change as well. Now we're seeing the 11 sector heat maps based on percent change. Also in our heat map, you have a drop down for your watch list. Click the drop down and you could change to, for instance, the Dow 30. And here's the heat map based on percent change. Or a large list like the High Cap 1000. Again, the heat map arranged from the largest percent moves up to the largest percent moves down. You could even break it down into industry groups, to one of your personal watch lists, your paper trading, or your live trading accounts to view heat maps from. Now let's see how heat maps are synchronized with your browser and mobile devices. With my browser open, I can click on any symbol in the heat map and it will change my chart and find in the watch list that symbol. So any symbol I click on, it immediately loads that for me in my TC2000. The heat map also works in your mobile device, just like the financial web pages we discussed earlier. So with the heat map open on my tablet, I can click on a symbol in the tablet and it will change my chart and find within my watch list that particular stock that I select. So again, whether it's a major financial website or a TC2000 heat map, these companion cloud tools synchronize the information you're looking for directly with your TC2000 active symbol.